Hi everyone in English 2323, it's Dr. E and I'm here with your functioning, hopefully updated version of this week's video. Sorry, I'm not I'm still not sure what happened with the previous video. I tried to redo it and uh, you know reloaded the app that I use and tried to see if it was a YouTube based issue. So Let's just hope that this works, but of course, let me know if not. Um, welcome back from your spring break. Even if you did not have time away from things like work or other responsibilities, hopefully you did have a break from school-related responsibilities. So I know it can be hard to get back into the swing of things. Uh, and this week's schedule is set up you know, with that in mind. It can be really hard to come back after a week away and feel like you can finish out a semester strong because we just we have about six to seven weeks left and this is when a lot of classes kind of pick up in intensity you start to have you know bigger assignments due and we'll see some of that in our class but thankfully we kind of build on our assignments uh, so it's not just kind of dropping in your lap at the last minute so just allow yourself a little grace make sure you're taking breaks and not trying to do all of your school items at once so I'm going to jump to the content area and I do want to revisit a few modules that are helpful, you know, just to make sure that you're clicking around and know where to go if you need to find certain resources. So the first is going to be the student success module. And this is where if you need any technology related support, all the links and available information are here. Um, of course, this can also be found in the D2L and tech help module. Uh, but these are just quick links if you need VLAC, you know, the virtual learning assistance center, uh, OTS, uh, any of that. There is also a space for academic support. So whether you need the technology support or academic support, there are resources here. Um, but I want to also remind you that there are bonus events or workshops available um, and that will connect to our work for this week, uh, which I'll jump to in just a second. Also in the syllabus schedule and rubrics area, if you ever have questions or concerns about the basics of our course, you know, the basics of our course assignments, all of that is in your syllabus, as well as the late policy for work, all of that good stuff, and then the complete schedule for the rest of the semester. Um, and this, if it ever changes, it'll always be updated here. And then we have the various videos and guidelines for different assignments. Um, and I do have things posted for our multimedia project, but know that I put a little note up here that that may change. You, if it changes, it's very minimally. Sometimes I just adjust the expectations in the assignment, but the overall you know type of assignment will not change. Um, but I do want you to just have a visual of you know what you can expect later on. All right. I'm going to jump down to this week, and it is pretty straightforward because, again, I know we're coming back after that break, and it can be hard to, to feel like you're back in the swing of things pretty easily. So we do have a background chapter, a time period chapter to read on the 20th and 21st century. So we are moving through the different eras and now are landing in a more contemporary time. It's, you know, just like any of our time period readings, it's a lot. So don't try to do it all at once. Try to just break it apart into whether you're reading 10 pages at a time or reading for 10 minutes at a time. Uh, do what you need to do so that you are taking in the information. Let me pause. I have a cat issue. Um, I think that's what I was talking about last. So you are watching uh, the updated instructional video. You have a mind map that is due on Sunday and it'll be related to the time period. Um, and then you do have a participation quiz. So. Thursday, there is a post that's due, but I want you to note that it's optional. So it is for bonus credit, uh, as well as those responses to colleagues. So um, this is one of those things where I really try to emphasize that in my class, I don't round up grades. And that's because there are various opportunities throughout the semester to earn bonus credit, to make up for any assignments that you may have missed or couldn't submit for whatever reason. So if you are able to, especially in a week like this, if it's not feeling too overwhelming, complete these kinds of optional assignments so you can possible grade, right? So your mind map is due Sunday and you do have participation quiz. Um, this will be updated with the correct version, which is, you know, going on right now. Uh, the complete schedule is here. I want you to revisit it and see if there are any errors or any questions that you have about the items that you're seeing there. And then, hold on, I have another animal issue. 
We're just going to have to work through it. Okay. So there is an optional discussion for you to complete this weekend responses that are due Sunday. So you can take a look at the requirements and expectations of that assignment. I'm just breathing through every single animal in the house being in here right now because there is a storm outside. So you do have a mind map that's due and that's based on this week's reading as well as the week 10 quiz. So if you need to revisit those mind map requirements, remember you can do that in the module that's based on the schedule assignments and rubrics. Or if you go to the assignment area, I've tried to kind of repost all of that information here um, and then offer links for Canva or mind map, whatever you'd like to do, including the templates to complete that assignment. All right, y'all. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back for the rest of the semester, and please let me know what you need. Apologies for the technology issues previously.